Uh, I'm glad you brought up the uh, question of NGOs and CSOs because to operate as a, an NGO in Burma, you have to be registered. And this is an official business. And I understand that last year there were 200 applications for NGOs to be registered or to have their registration renewed because it has to be renewed annually. And I believe that only three were granted permission to uh, register or to renew their registration. And uh, that most of, and uh, all these three had either patrons or chairmen or, or um, people in high places who were somehow connected to members of the government. So we have to be a little cautious when you are talking about the freedom of NGOs. First of all, we have to know how these NGOs are, are operating and how they manage to be registered when others have not managed to achieve registration. 